Well, you've been downloaded. We've downloaded it into you. You've got completely a lot of new information. That's exactly it. Yeah. So when I met you the first time, it took about two days for that to download. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do. We can actually do this. Yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> well, what's funny is there is so much just natural, a natural propensity to behave this way in our bodies with a person. It's mm -hmm. the, it's the primate birthright of having this kind of body. Well, I mean, you do with it in your lives, lives growing up. You just we've experienced sure, these sure, things. Sure. Yeah. It's well, even roughhousing and wrestling. Yeah. Like as you get it. older, even when you're like playing football mm -hmm. or doing whatever it is that happens as you move through your life, there's aspects of this that just come in and out of your life throughout our, our learning about our bodies, which is this stuff is happening. Mm -hmm. Well, you play football. Well, one of the things my mother liked to say is, or one of my ex-wife, she says. Some guys, the only way they get to have contact is by crashing into each other and playing football. <laughs> no, that's the damn truth. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good excuse, you know. As a uh, advent of remembrance uh -huh. as well, back to not just our age groups, uh -huh. but really how, how that can be demonstrated in children cooperative uh -huh. settings. Yeah. Well, what would happen if you put this into a wrestler's hands? Well, I was wrestling in high school. As, uh, first of all, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I don't know if it's a therapeutic act around the wrestling or if it's actually, literally, just going to add to your game. I mean, can I mean? I would think if you can learn to do this as you were developing your wrestling skills and you were doing this too, you'd have a whole other higher plane of acuity about the body. You could take the guy down that doesn't know about that. Exactly. I would think that yeah. would be a, just it's, another it's, level. It's to called it. kinesthetic vocabulary. Once your kinesthetic vocabulary gets complete, yeah. no matter where you are in relationship to another body, you know where you you're know at. what your options are. Right. Instantly. Mm -hmm. And you can just mm -hmm. advantage that if you want to pin the guy. You can call it um, friendly mixed martial arts if you want. Yeah. <laughs> you could probably apply it to self defense too. Actually. Absolutely. Definitely. It's a lot like Aikido. Isn't Aikido kind of like that? Where you sort of drape on each other and the person that's going to control you, they sort Aikido of. Aikido is a very special jujitsu ju ju kind of thing where you're actually dealing with somebody who's attacking you. Well, right. But isn't that what we're talking about? Those using weight and balance? and Definitely. Definitely. Um, I mean, there's, there's aspects of it. I've been in let's say, a, a nasty situation with another human body. And I was able to grab that body, throw it down on the ground immediately, and I was on top of them, and I said, don't you ever do that again. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like your, level, your levels of body awareness are like superhero level. So you can do superhero stuff. I mean, like I do healthcare. I've done a lot of healthcare, so I've moved disabled bodies, and people who can't move their bodies, I've had to move hundreds of pounds. Mm -hmm. And you learn to do that pretty yeah. easily because if you don't, you'll hurt yourself. Yeah. But then you can take that and apply it to anybody's body. So yeah, after I learned to move people who were inept or unable, I found myself moving anybody I wanted to. Like I, one of my buddies was we were messing around in a pool one day, and it was I picked him up and threw him in the pool, and then everybody around me, we were, they were like, "You picked him up like he was a." Ten-year-old girl and tossed him twenty feet across. The, what did? You, how did you do that? I was like, well, I kind of know how to move yeah, bodies. Yeah, right. And he was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's all about that. And then, I don't know. This, there's just so much room in this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's very core movement training. It just feels so. Warm Any other too. movement training you might do comes out of this basic physical way that bodies come together. I love the rag wrenching aspect of it too. Where you get to a point where you can wrench that rag even further. The next level has to do with twisting where both bodies are, are actually entwining. You say that's like level three or yeah. super advanced. Yeah, where I, 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 I mean, well that's where I a little bit of it's happening in this at this level. I was sort of doing that last stuff where I could I could have twist, started twisting around you and that's where I like to call it anaconda dance. Where <laughs> so I'm this, I think some of these next <laughs> where I like I, I, I like I say this to people. I, I I'm a, I'm a snake. I wrap myself around you. I crush you. The boa constrictor. And then I eat you. <laughs> that's yeah, what yeah, that's about PC this book's gonna be. I think I would change the word guts to viscera too, but that's just me. The image of guts when you said it, you go, oh, oh, oh. 
But I mean, that is just a little thing. Don't misunderstand. I mean, we're we're looking at this as just from the outside so much. I'm not trying to. Mm -hmm. I just heard the language there. This language is important around this. Mm -hmm. Fumble. That's the best word you use. <laughs> right. But it just says so much, and it permits you to feel like a dork. And it's important if you can't let yourself feel that way in this, you're not going to get to a certain place. Yeah, you have to. You got to be free. Have that freedom to not know for a while, because your head won't figure it out. Your body figures it out. And it depends. If you're super analytical, that means you just can't help but go ah, and think about it for no reason. It helps to have words to allow you to stop. Oh, don't worry about it. Let it fall where it falls. It'll fall where it's supposed to. And then it proves itself right here. And so it's pretty easy. You, you, you really developed something beautiful. I mean, you and your friend. So fun. Scott, what was the band? Scott band? Davis. So Young, fun. Definitely so, done so something neat. Yeah. What? That's something neat's happened. I mean, it's really powerful. Mm -hmm. It's nice because it could just be handed over to a person who's not trying to take it beyond just maybe their interpersonal local relationship. Just mm -hmm. somebody who could just do that with their friends when they need to. Mabel, come on over, have a cup of tea. I'll work on you. Let's do some. <laughs> let's do some. Uh, we'll get on the living room floor. I'll paleo somatics. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's my mission to just give this away as much as possible to everybody that I get near. And, and you're, you're it's social, it's fun. It's that cool. little thing right there is going to be powerful when you finish it. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I can almost see like a comic book style attack mm -hmm. on that book there. Mm -hmm. But I just, it's exciting to think about it being at the level where you go, here, this is the book and mm -hmm. kind of the manual. And by that point, you got your DVD made. and. Mm -hmm. You're just running around the planet giving it away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll be on Oprah. Roz is giving it away intensely on Wednesday nights at uh, Ecstatic Dance. She just destroys people in, in a good way. <laughs> and the funnest way. I could watch. The funnest way. I could watch these guys. And you should see, you should watch Roz and I dance. Maybe she, she, she and I should dance here. But, this stuff just blows my mind. I mean, this dancing thing is really big in the sense that I really feel like a total dork trying to contact improv. I, the girl that I've been going with, her name's Dee Dee. Do you guys know Dee Dee? Did I meet her that night? You did. Yeah. She's around this scene a lot, though. I mean, I just have a funny feeling I might know her face if you go to these things. I, I sort of know her face. Body size is important. You can work on really big people. If you work on little people, you just have to be careful. Well, no. What I was going to say is she's trying to teach me to contact, contact improv, and so we've tried to do it. Mm -hmm. And I just immediately feel so, it's so hard to connect to that moment for me. Just to maintain touch, um, let yeah. alone just maintain the contact point. And I mean, it's just practicing, but just maintain the contact point, which is nice to keep continuous contact. Yeah, and then see that in itself. Involves. That layer itself is like I'm. I'm just challenged right there. Right, right. Just that if I could learn how to do that first, mm -hmm. clearly the next layer. Well, that's where you start. Yeah, but. Uh, Everything flows from there because you watching know, you guys do it is crazy. You know, there's always ways to connect with the body. And I'm just coming from the back, you know, and I'm breaking your patterns. You know, I want to. Yeah, I'm not going to do I think I'm feeling it. <laughs> just keep going. It takes, you just got to let it go. Uh huh. It's not an easy thing. It will completely revitalize. <laughs> your whole structure. You can take classes that offer techniques, of course, but those can also be in 